In this video, I'm gonna show you how to replace the fuel injectors on this Dodge Dart. Let's get into it. Under the hood, you're gonna locate the fuse box, pop this up, there may be some clips holding it on. Just pull those apart, slide this up. And we wanna find where the fuel pump fuse is, which is F21. You can double check your owner's manual to make sure. And that's gonna be this fuse right here. You wanna use some needle nose pliers or a fuse puller. Just grab the fuse, pull it out. Then you wanna start the engine and run it until it dies. After the engine dies, turn the ignition off, take the key out of the vehicle. We can take that fuse, plug that in right now, and put the cover on. We're gonna disconnect the battery, taking off the negative terminal, use a 10 millimeter wrench. Just loosen this nut up. That loose. Slide that off and out of the way. Remove the engine cover, just grab underneath and just pull it straight up. Loosen up this worm clamp right here, use an eight millimeter socket. Take that off. Take this bolt off here, use a 10 millimeter socket. Take that bolt out. Disconnect the connector right here, just push down on the tab, slide it off. We'll loosen up this worm clamp. Use a seven millimeter socket. Loosen that up. Just grab the snorkel, slide that off the throttle body. Just grab that and it slides right out. We're gonna take this clamp off right here. I'm just gonna use a straight blade screwdriver. Just pry this out. Just kind of clipped in. Or just slide it to the side, that works too. And take that off. This line right here, I'm just gonna use a pick. Just slide that lock right back. You're gonna twist it. There's a little button on the other side. You're gonna push that button. I'm just gonna use the pick, push the button. When sliding this off, you should take a rag and just hold it over that. So in case any pressure is in there, it's just not gonna spray at you. Slide that to the side. Now I'll take this line off. I am gonna use some pliers because there's two buttons you have to push. So you just get underneath there. Get that on there. Just squeeze that, push the two buttons. Slide that off. It comes right off. You can see, that's what you're trying to do is push these two buttons on the side. To get that line out of the way, you follow it back and there's a button at the base of it. Just push the button up, slide it out. You can see that's the button that you're pushing. Push that in and it slides right off. These are the buttons you squeeze. Just squeeze those two and then the hose slides off. And grab this foam pad and just raise it up. And we just slide it to the side and it comes right out. Disconnect the connector on the purge valve. There's a little lock tab. Just slide that lock tab back. I'm just using a pick and you can push down or you might have to use a pick to release the lock if it's a little tight. There we go. You should be able to squeeze that and it releases, but I just got underneath the little tab. Slide that off. Just grab the valve, rock it back and forth. Slide it off the bracket, and we'll just slide that out of the way. Now we're gonna disconnect the fuel injectors, the electrical connectors. I'm just gonna use a pick. There's a little lock. Get underneath that lock. Slide it up. There we go. And then push down on the little tab. Just gotta squeeze it. There we go. You're just pushing down on the tab. And we'll do the same on the other ones. There's a total of four. Using a T30 socket, there's two screws holding the fuel rail down to the intake. Take those screws out. Just 
slide that screw out. And then there's one more over there. screw out and with a pry bar just gently pry this and you want to pry it towards the back of the vehicle and if it doesn't come up right away just try to wiggle it back and forth a little bit you can even spray some silicone lubricant on the injectors just to loosen up the, those o-rings slide that out take these clips off you just use a straight blade screwdriver or a pick it slides that off then you want to have some rags down because you might drip a little fuel and just work this off. You can pry it out with a screwdriver, straight blade screwdriver. Twist it back and forth a little bit, makes it a little easier. Take that out. Take your new fuel injector. You put a little fuel on the O-ring That'll help push it in, or a little bit of silicone. Slide that in, and take the clip, line the clip up. Make sure that's secure. It's gonna go the same, the connector is gonna be the same direction. You can do the same with the other ones. Now I'll slide this back in place. You can lubricate the O-rings to help you. Get that lined up and push it down. Now take the screws, get those lined up. You might want to use a magnet so you don't drop it. And snug that down. Now put the other one in. Snug that down, and I'm going to torque those to 62 inch pounds. That's good. All right, that's good. Now connect all the connectors, push them down, put down on the lock. Do the same for the other ones. Now take the purge valve, and slide it over the bracket, push it down. Good. Take the connector, line that up, lock it down, push down on the lock. Now take the piece of foam, slide this in from the side. And slide it in position. Push right down there, make sure the two hoses are clear so that you can connect the other hoses. Now take this hose, slide it in place, connect it, now connect that there, lock it in place, and take the other hose, line that up, connect it, and push down on the lock. Now take the bracket, go over the lines, Lock that onto the lines and close it up. Take the intake tube and just line that up. Push it on the throttle body. Slide it over the air box. Tighten down the worm clamp. Snug that down, take the connector, line that up, lock it down. Take the screw, get that started, tighten that down, tighten this worm clamp down, snug, put the cover on, line that up, lock it down. Now we're going to connect the battery. Slide that over, then using the 10 millimeter wrench, snug this down, 
give it a wiggle, make sure it's tight. You're all set. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.